Giannis Antetokounmpo just capped off an all-time NBA Finals performance, both scoring and playmaking at a high level, while looking like the best defender on the planet. He's a two-time MVP and Defensive Player of the Year, who just added an NBA Championship and Finals MVP to his resume at age 26. But just how good is Giannis, and is he the best player in the world? Giannis is borderline unstoppable in transition, using his unique combination of speed, strength, and length to get to the basket at will. This is far from the run and dunk label he's been given though, as a lot more goes into transition offense than just sprinting towards the rim. Part of what makes Giannis so lethal in transition is his agility and footwork, able to change direction as quickly as anyone. He's often attacking defenders while they're in a frantic backpedal to the hoop, so a simple change of direction is enough to open up the opportunity for two points. He creates these openings in a multitude of ways, the first being his famous Euro step. Giannis uses his giant strides to gather from as far as 20 feet out, flying right around defenders and making it almost impossible to draw a charge. He makes the defender guess which direction he's going off the second step, and guessing wrong results in an automatic two points every single time. Guess right, and the defender still has to figure out how to prevent Giannis from finishing right over him while avoiding a foul, making the strategy extremely efficient. When Giannis feels his drive getting cut off, he'll often go to his spin move, exploding off of his planted foot while simultaneously gathering the ball. If the defender bites on the spin, he can fake and take the wide open basket, and if they don't bite, he can finish right over them, nobody matching his combination of length and athleticism. While Giannis proves to be an unstoppable force when pushing the ball in transition, he's just as lethal off the ball as well, often catching the ball and instantly attacking gaps in the defense at full speed. Notice how quickly he accelerates here? This level of explosiveness is unprecedented from a 7-footer. Giannis combines this level of speed and agility with brute strength that allows him to finish through contact at will, and his length gives him the largest dunk radius in league history, two factors in making him arguably the greatest finisher the game of basketball has ever seen. This season, Giannis finished 83.7% of his shots inside the paint, a historic mark that not even the league's greatest finishers have reached. LeBron James, widely recognized as the most prolific slasher of all time, peaked at 79.6% in the 2014 season, and the unstoppable paint force that was Shaquille O'Neal peaked at 79.2% in the 2001 season. Similar to Shaq, because of how dominant Giannis is down low, teams will purposely foul him, as they would rather live with a chance at at one point instead of the automatic two. Over the past three seasons, Giannis has shot just over 68% from the free throw line, which is efficient enough that when teams send him to the line, he's still producing positive offense. This free throw percentage kind of sheds light into the bigger problem with Giannis' offensive game, his lack of scoring versatility. Giannis isn't a great shooter from mid-range or from beyond the arc, which sometimes results in teams just walling off his drives to the basket and forcing him to play more passive. However, this season we saw Giannis as a much improved off-ball player, able to attack in more effective spots as a role man or when cutting to the basket, and he was more aggressive applying pressure to the rim, having an all-time great finals run as a result. Giannis attacking in these situations not only created more scoring opportunities for himself, but it allowed him to create for teammates as well. Because opposing teams have to send multiple bodies at Giannis to prevent him from scoring on the drive, there's always an open shooter somewhere on the court, and every year, Giannis seems to find these openings more and more, showing elite playmaking. On this one, Booker is forced to step in front of the drive, Giannis recognizing this and hitting Connaughton for a wide open three-pointer. On this play, more of the same, Giannis pushing the ball down the middle middle and utilizing the no-look pass to give Portis a practice shot. Most of Giannis's playmaking stems from this drive and kick game, getting out in transition and capitalizing on his scoring gravity at the rim to create wide open threes. But more and more, we've seen him capitalize on errors in the defense as an exploitive passer as well, leading to lots of high value assists. Perhaps the most impressive aspect of his playmaking game is the velocity on his passes, firing fastballs into the hands of open shooters before the defense can recover, giving teammates time to set and fire. 
Giannis also blends his much improved off-ball game into playmaking opportunities, often drawing defenders out of the corner when cutting, and quickly flicking passes to more open shooters. Again notice the no-look pass being utilized to freeze Aiton just long enough for Connaughton to get this shot off comfortably in space. Sometimes Giannis is even indirectly creating shots without even touching the ball by just simply battling for position down low or rolling to the basket, very reminiscent of Shaquille O'Neal. Giannis' scoring and playmaking game is enough to make him an elite offensive player, but what puts his name among the greatest players in the game is how he combines this with all-time level defense. Giannis has a case as the greatest help defender in NBA history, not only anticipating threats around the rim, but almost always putting himself in perfect position to turn them away. He's able to cover as much ground as anyone through his length and athleticism, which means he can help out of almost any situation, whether he's guarding a spot-up shooter, ball handler, or a cutter. On this play, Forbes gets beat off the dribble, and in just two giant steps, Giannis is there wiping the ball off the glass. Here it seems like Jeff Green has a wide open cut to the basket until Giannis meets him at the rim and turns away the dunk. On this one, Giannis waits until Bruce Brown catches the ball before sliding into position to block the shot, just showing the mastery of his off-ball defense and the unreal processing speed he possesses. This processing speed doesn't only play into his help defense, but also makes him an exceptional recovery defender as well. Everyone saw the famous Game 4 block, and this is just the pinnacle of recovery defense. Giannis plays high on the initial screen to prevent Booker from rising up for an easy mid-range shot, then after seeing Booker extend his arms to throw the lob, turns back and instantly leaves his feet to meet DeAndre Ayton at the rim, and turns away the dunk. The anticipation, athleticism, and timing required to pull this off can only be matched by few, and I'm not sure who those few players are. Giannis' all-time off-ball defense doesn't stop there. He's also great at jumping lanes which he turns into transition opportunities, and he's great at roaming in the mid-range area to step in front of cutters, offering as much rim deterrence as almost anyone in the league. However, Giannis does have some clear defensive limitations though, most notably his point of attack defense. He isn't the greatest at moving his feet laterally to keep up with quick guards, and sometimes struggles decelerating to contest pull-up jumpers. His screen navigation isn't very good either, so he usually just switches off which can sometimes create mismatches. He does a great job when guessing the direction that the ball handler is going, but he doesn't always guess right, and it results in sloppy defensive possessions. When he's forced to play on the ball, the threat of his off-ball defense is severe suppressed, and this is when teams are at their best against the Bucks. When Giannis is switched onto a guard in isolation and gets beat off the dribble, there's no more all-time help defender preventing that shot at the rim, which makes it hard for Giannis to play the 5 at times, adding most value on that end of the floor at the 4. Despite these limitations, Giannis is just so impactful defensively that it's hard to argue anyone as a better defender than him in the NBA currently, and the Bucks' playoff defense over these past three seasons is a pretty accurate representation of just how much value he adds on that end of the floor. The 2021 NBA champion Bucks had a negative 8 relative defensive rating, ranking 22nd in NBA history, and the 2019 Bucks had a negative 9.2 relative defensive rating, ranking 7th in NBA history. Giannis anchoring his historic playoff defenses. When you combine this level of defense with elite scoring and playmaking, you get one great basketball player, and in this case, you get a two-time MVP and NBA Finals MVP in Giannis Antetokounmpo. Giannis is one of the greatest finishers the game has ever seen, requiring unique defensive attention at the rim that opens up the floor for shooters, and pairs that with anomalous help side defense, making his case as the best basketball player in the world. Giannis has just started to unlock his off-ball game and has only tapped into his potential working around the rim, proving that the league should be terrified of what's to come. That's it for the Giannis Antetokounmpo in-depth analysis. Make sure to subscribe and turn my post notifications on if you enjoyed the video. Also make sure to follow my Twitter at KG's Goat, Instagram at The Hoop Venue, and subscribe to my second YouTube channel HV to keep up with my other content. You can find those links in the description. If you want to join my Discord or become a YouTube member, those links will be in the description as well. Feel free to let me know down in the comments what you agree and disagree with in this video, and where you think Giannis ranks as a player in the league today. I hope everyone has a great rest of their day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.